All right, so in setting up my gradebook, this is now what the students will see on their end. So this, this spreadsheet right here is the student template. So I've deleted all the extra rows they don't need. I've deleted all the extra column or rows and columns. So that's just a nice condensed thing. So this page, because it's a template, it's set up and it's got the tags that are going to match with Autocrat. So I've got their class, what their name is, trimester three scores, and then rows, which I'll explain in a little bit. Um, these, and I also have this nice colorful stripe. I change the color each trimester so I can tell at a glance that the student's looking at the wrong one. Uh, so this trimester is green. Um, so on this first main sheet, I've got the assignment, assignment title, scores, feedback, and where students can take notes. So all of these columns are going to be linking back to my master gradebook. So right now, if I click on where it says reference, there's the error. So when I click on it, it's got this huge long formula. So what does this mean? Okay, so first is Let's look at this import range part of it. So import range means I want to collect data from the master gradebook spreadsheet. So how do I do that? So I go back over to my master gradebook and up in the URL bar, there's the link. We only want the middle gibberish part of the URL. So I'm going to copy it and paste it in here. So instead of this other one S, I'm going to delete them, and paste in the new one. I'll just hit enter. Loading, it says reference again. Um, because what I have to do is I need to allow access. So you, this is going to be a labor intensive part. You will need to allow access for anything that's there. So let me say allow access. Boop. And when I say allow access, it automatically fills in the data from the master gradebook. So this was, so this was all of the assignment titles. Now they're over here. The, what made this whole thing possible is the transpose formula. So transpose means I'm taking that horizontal format. So it's helpful for me as a master gradebook to have it all in a big long line. But for students, it's really hard for them to scroll sideways like that. So transpose turns it into a nice column. So this student can tell, oh, here's this assignment and here's my score. So this really helps with the formatting a lot using the transpose. So the formula is it's equals transpose and then in parentheses, transposing this importing range. And here's the range and I'm taking grade but my sheet on the master grade book i'm taking that page grades d1 through or h2 or z2 whatever i want to take i'm taking those top two rows that have all of the assignment titles so this is going to be the same on every single student's grade book page um, then this next one let me make go ahead and update the spreadsheet because it has my this is actually the spreadsheet for trimester two and then same thing here so they all paste okay so now see how they've been blank, doesn't say reference anymore. So right now it's taking the data. So right now it's collecting the data from there. So what data is it showing? So if you look in the formula, it says D6 colon AH6. So what does that mean? If I go back to my master grade book in row six, if I put in a score here, like proficient, oh, it says proficient here. Now when I go over to this sheet, it pops up as proficient because this data is feeding in anything that shows up in row six is going to appear on the student's grade sheet. So this is proficient. Um, if I type, if, so that's why it is so important not to change the sorting because this student, so Ariana is gonna be, she has all of the data that is in row six is hers and then her personal grade sheet is only going to be harvesting and sharing data from row six. That way she's not getting somebody else's. If I change the sorting, then I all the students' work would all be scrambled. And so that that and you, they'd be seeing each other's grades, which is not what I want to have happen. So this way it's only seeing what's in that row six. And same thing with feedback. If I give her feedback on that thing, so same thing here, Ariana in row six. Very nice job, very generic. Same thing, feedback. That'll appear almost instantaneously on her page. So that's the really nice part about having this grade book automatically update on the student's spreadsheet. You just change it on your one master's grade book sheet and it automatically fills into the student ones. So it's using transpose to change the formatting to turn it. Import range is how you get data from other spreadsheets. So import range, this is the long part of the URL, kind of the code for this spreadsheet for the other for the grade book spreadsheet, and then the grade sheet. Um, and then you can have, so this is what I was saying, where every different category you want is a different column. So scores was my grades tab. So everything on my grades tab goes to that column. Feedback is going to go to the next column. Student notes, so I can find out what does a student say, that's from this column. So if you had something else, you wanted to put standards, you wanted to put goals, whatever it is, another column needs to match up with another whole sheet on your master grade book. So you can format it and add whatever columns are is most helpful to you, but that's how it's broken down. 
Um, and then I also have, then you can also break it apart. So I've got their grades and I have their journal scores. So same thing, once I make sure that it's linking to the right spreadsheet, then it's going to go and here's all the dates for next trimester. Well, wow, that's a lot of dates for trimester three. And then it'll, same thing, give me the same data on the same row. Ariana's things are in row six. So it's always going to make sure it gives me the right information for that student. So that's the general setup of how the student grade sheets are linked up with the master grade book that you're entering in the data onto the master grade book and it's automatically filling in to the student sheet using import range. So the next step will be how do I make sure, how do I distribute all of these correctly and then how do I get that set up because that's only one student. How do I make sure every student is getting their right information? Okay.